got the best team in this league. And we're going to show it today by brown and pound and beating them into submission. They say, help me up. I say, hell no. Put your foot on their throat and don't take it off, even if they turn hurt. Today is our day. Today is our day of reign of terror on this league. This is a dream that you can Las Vegas, the Strip, site of LFL football night. Hello, LFL fans. Mitch Mortaza joining you alongside Bobby Huco. A little bit later, Miss Courtney Gifford down on the field. And Bobby, here we are at the midway point of the 2014 season. We have Las Vegas and Green Bay both in search of that first win. Absolutely. Vegas and Green Bay opened up the season against tough opponents. Vegas went to L.A., paid to play a very tough L.A. team. And then Green Bay went to a hostile environment in Seattle, played a very, very tough Seattle team. What I liked about both teams was the fight in them, especially the fight in the 19-year-old quarterback for Las Vegas, Sidney Cummings. She had a solid first start with some major plays in the second half. And for Green Bay, returning is the 2013 league reception leader, Anna Hazeman, who had two big touchdown catches against Seattle. They are both huge competitors, and they've made their mark in the first half of the season in Cummings and Hazeman. The keys for myself, however, have been for Las Vegas, Cynthia Schmidt, the lengthy wide receiver. Not much expected from her this year. She already has a pair of touchdown receptions early in the season. And then on the other side of the ball, Green Bay, to no surprise, is Jessica Payton. She has been the only playmaker, the only source of offense for this team. And that's got to be a little bit of concern for head coach Gilbert Brown at Green Bay. Now, we did talk about this being the first win for one of these two clubs. And for what that would mean to these two clubs, we go down to the field to the third member of our broadcast team, Ms. Courtney Gifford. Thanks, guys. I spoke with both of these teams earlier this week, and it's clear what a first win would mean for each of them. Now, for Las Vegas, it would be a huge confidence boost for young quarterback Cindy Cummings. And for veteran Danica Brace, it would be validation in her decision to stay with the team throughout this year of rebuilding. Now for Green Bay, on the other hand, for them to win without veteran Annie Erdler would silence those critics that say that Jessica Payton doesn't have what it takes or the arm strength to be an LFL quarterback. Looks like things are heating up down here, and this first win for both of these winless teams means a lot. Back to you guys. In the city of lights, the lights will be brightest inside the arena as the Green Bay Chill and the Vegas Sin chase their first win of the season. Kickoff is next. Back to LFL football night, a look at the Bellagio Fountains in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we are inside the Thomas and Mack Center for the Green Bay Chill and the Las Vegas Sin. Mitch, two and up and coming teams right here. One of them's gonna fall to 0-2, not a good way to start the season. Always positive Bobby Huco. Not pointing out that one of the teams will be one and one after this. There's the kickoff. Danielle Lucci, Marky Henderson finding a seam in the middle. Gets it back all the way to the 15 yard line. A big return for the first year rookie running back. Marky Henderson, shifty and fast, returns it straight up the middle. The kicker, Lucci, with a touchdown saving tackle. What a start for Las Vegas. And now the 19-year-old rookie, Sydney Cummings, the Las Vegas native, will take over this offense. As you mentioned, Bobby, an impressive debut game versus Los Angeles. He's a rookie phenom. A lot of people looking at her tonight, Mitch. Ball all the way at the Green Bay 14-yard line. Under center handoff. That to Danica Brace, the tight end. And Brace goes for about nine yards on that carry. That's going to go down all the way to the Green Bay four-yard line as we meet the Vegas offense. Audrey Collard, center. Lachelle Foreman, tight end. Kia Ramos, tight end. Ashley Brazil, wide receiver. Cynthia Schmidt, wide receiver. Marky Henderson, running back. Cindy Cummings, quarterback. Cynthia Schmidt having an outstanding year already at wide receiver. It's a top target for Cindy Cummings. Now a second and one play inside handoff. Kia Ramos and Ramos finding pay dirt early from about five yards out and Vegas is on the board. 
Great call by Coach Tui. Everybody expects Marky Henderson to get the ball inside handoff. Kia Ramos, the six-footer from Long Beach, breaks a tackle for six points. What a start from Vegas after that monster kickoff return by Marky Henderson. Leaving Las Vegas only a 14-yard field to work with, and they score. Two plays for 14 yards, and they're on the board. Now Cummings for the extra point attempt. Easily scoots into the back of the end zone, and that will give Vegas an early 7-0 lead. The 19-year-old showing a lot of leadership on that opening drive. She's playing way beyond her years. Mitch, looking great so far. Nothing seems to phase Sydney Cummings. As we discussed, she had a great debut game versus Los Angeles, and that there, Danica Brace, has been her biggest tutor this 2014 rookie season. And now Jessica Payton and her second started quarterback under center. Inside handoff, fake handoff. Now going to try down the field. And nobody there except for Trisha Warashino of Vegas. And she loses the ball. That's Sydney Cummings cutting back across the field all the way down to about the 12-yard line. What a play by Las Vegas. And what a heads-up play by Sydney Cummings. Great play by Cummings. But the play was there for Green Bay. Play action pass. Peyton, all she has to do is get out there. He's been open for six. He underthrow it by five or ten yards. The ball pops out. Great heads up play. What a crackback block right there by Brace. Unbelievable play for Las Vegas in a turn of events that Gilbert Brown did not want on his first offensive play. And now Sidney Cummings goes back to work. Once again, another short field for this Vegas offense taking over at the Green Bay 12. From the shotgun, Cummings, a design play to the right side. And that's Cummings showing her mobility, still on her feet. He'll go for about six yards. Mitch, we talked about her in her last start, how a lot of people around the league compare her to Ashley Salerno at LA with a great arm, but also on the ground, she can hurt you with her feet as it showed right there, a great running back. That now will set up a second and four at the Green Bay six yard line. One of very many options here, Bobby, for Las Vegas. You have Marky Henderson, you have Cynthia Schmidt, you have Danica Brace. And you got Cummings. A lot of options. You're right, Mitch. Now a second and four play. That's a quick little toss. And that was way too easy to Cynthia Schmidt. And Vegas takes a 13 to nothing lead. Great call by Coach Two in Las Vegas is making a statement. Looks like the quarterback sweep. The corners come up, safety comes up. Schmidt wide open in the end zone. Great call, great play by the rookie Cummings. And that is the third score of this young season for Cynthia Schmidt. Her and Sidney Cummings are becoming quite the duo in the passing game. And they will be. Coach Tui right now, he's got a chance to beat one of his idols, Gilbert Brown. He told me he would like nothing more than to beat Gilbert Brown tonight. That is our coaching duel. Green Bay's Gilbert Brown versus Tui Soanoa of Las Vegas. And that's Marquee Henderson getting stopped. So the score will remain 13 to nothing Las Vegas. And we've only seen about four minutes come off the clock. Mitch, we talked about it in the opening. Against Los Angeles in the second half, Las Vegas came to life. This offense looked good behind the rookie. And they came in on fire tonight, already up 13-0. Coach Gilbert Brown, they're chill. They're in shock right now. This is not where you want your first-year quarterback to take over. Down 13 points already. And that is Amber Main going to try the left side. Main goes for about seven yards. Cynthia Schmidt on the stop. That's what Green Bay needs right now. Ambo Main, a consistent, solid running back, gets seven yards. They need to calm down the quarterback. Peyton right now, go to a running game and, and run down the field. Peyton right now is not throwing the ball. That could have been six if she had a stronger arm. We mentioned last year, Green Bay's quarterback could have got it there. This year, she doesn't have the gun. Now a second and three. Shotgun snap direct to Peyton. Peyton on the right side, getting to the outside. And Peyton showing some of that playmaking capability as we meet the Green Bay offense. Anna Hazeman, wide receiver. Amber McCullen, center. Suzanne Astrud, tight end. 
Amber Main, running back. Teresa Garay, tight end. Seth Ponzer, wide receiver. Jessica Payton, quarterback. The key tonight is Payton at quarterback. She has to throw the ball well tonight for Green Bay to have any success on offense with the two receivers that she has, with Ponzer and Hazeman. And this time it'll be a handoff, and that'll be a loss of almost six. That looked to be Kelly Campbell, the free agent pickup from Baltimore, coming up big from that corner position. Not many girls come off the corner better than Kelly Campbell. She shucks off the wide receiver, reads run, comes up, makes a big stick. Watch her come off the corner. That's how to play football. Great tackling technique. As I said, that was a loss of six yards. So the ball now second and 16. Inside handoff again to Amber Main. And Main this time getting some positive yardage for about eight yards. Main is only 5'2", but she's very powerful. A great trap play, great call there by Coach Gilbert Brown. Got eight solid yards for Green Bay. Now a third and eight play as the Green Bay offense finally mounting some momentum. And they're going to need to get some points on the board down 13 to nothing early. Hayton under center, inside handoff. That is Amber Main and just being destroyed against the wall. That was Danica Brace converging, and now we will meet the Vegas defense. Cynthia Schmidt, safety. Leah Matthews, defensive end. LaRonda Kelly, defensive end. Danica Brace, middle linebacker. Amanda Brace, corner. Kelly Campbell, corner. Lauren Fogel, defensive end. That defense led by all fantasy players, Danica Brace and Kelly Campbell. Look for them to play big tonight, Mitch. Now a big fourth and three call, and that is Amber Main. And that'll be enough to move the sticks for Green Bay. A gutsy call on fourth and five. Check that, that was fourth and three. Nonetheless, a first and goal now for Green Bay. Wow, Cynthia Smith could not come up with a big tackle there. Amber Main, only 5'2". She's the little engine that could, Mitch. She should have been stuffed there, but she got the first down. Now a first and goal play from about the one yard line. Another handoff to Main, a little hesitant. And you cannot do that against Danica Brace and company as Main loses about a yard. Danica Brace coming up big from the middle right there. She looks solid. She had a major ACL injury going back a couple years, but she's back 100%, obviously looking good on offense and defense. Annika Brace manning the middle there on a key second and goal here for Green Bay as the clock winds down on the first quarter. That's Peyton getting to the outside, and that is the athleticism that she's shown from the quarterback position, and she gets Green Bay on the board. Mitch, she is definitely a scrappy quarterback. She could have folded after that first wounded duck she threw for the interception, but she came back and led Green Bay on a solid touchdown drive. That drive consisting of eight plays, 35 yards, and chewing up nearly 433 of the first quarter. That is exactly how you want to respond to being down 13 to nothing. It looked like it might be a blowout at one point, but right now the Las Vegas crowd is toned down after that touchdown. Now a two-point conversion for Peyton, and the receiver just cut the pattern short. That will be no good, and the score will remain 13 to six. After eight minutes of play, Las Vegas leading this one early. Back inside the Thomas and Mack Center, just outside the Vegas Strip. Mitch Mortaza alongside Bobby Huco, and we've got a 13 to six ball game. Mitch, a good first quarter for both teams. Green Bay started out slow with that Peyton interception. Las Vegas behind the 19 year old Phenom is looking great on offense. That Phenom now taking over from about the 15 yard line from the shotgun, quick screen. Out to the right side, that's Marky Henderson, the running back, and Henderson managing about six yards. You can see Cummings feels comfortable at quarterback. She was smiling before the play. She's really mixing it up, throwing to Schmidt for the touchdown, now dropping it off to her back. Marky Henderson for six yards. She looks great at quarterback. Henderson looks great at running back. 
Cummings definitely having the poise of a veteran quarterback and only her second start. One of the very few Las Vegas natives on this roster have playing in front of a lot of friends and family tonight. Now a second and four play from the 21. Cummings back to throw, gonna try inside the middle and dropped. That pass dropped by Cynthia Schmidt. Wide open in the back of the end zone and just dropped that ball. Wow, you never see that. She is having such a great year. Schmidt, the ball's perfectly thrown, a post pattern behind the secondary. Cummins puts it right on the money and Schmidt drops it. Should have been six points for Vegas. That is one of the impressive facts of Sidney Cummings. A very accurate deep ball. Now a third and four play. They're going to fake the inside handoff. Try the right side. And Kia Ramos and Sidney Cummings just not on the same page with that pattern. Ramos has the size to be a great receiver, but the effort wasn't there. Cummings put the ball the only place that she could catch it, but she kind of slowed down on the route. She could have dove, but uh, I don't know. It didn't look like a good receiver on that one. Apparently, Las Vegas seeing something on film of this Green Bay secondary who had a tough time against Seattle in their season opener. Now a crucial fourth and four play from the Vegas 21. That will be a handoff this time. Inside handoff, Marky Henderson breaking the first tackle. And now a swarm of Green Bay defenders. And a key stop for the Green Bay defense is now Green Bay will take over. An explosive defensive stop there by middle linebacker Elizabeth Straczynski. She reminds me a lot of the old Green Bay Packer, Ray Nitsky, the way she plays middle linebacker all over the field. Or Clay Matthews, perhaps. Although Clay is an outside linebacker, just trying to make it a little more contemporary, Bob. Ray Nitsky, one of the greatest middle linebackers ever. Straczynski looks like Nitsky. And now Jessica Payton goes back to work from about the 22, a handoff to Maine. And Maine once again averaging almost six yards per carry early. Danica Brace on the stop. Danica Brace had a solid opening against Seattle. You see the stats right there. One of the best linebackers in the league. Now a second and three as Cummings goes off the field and Peyton is now in firm control of this offense. After just wrapping up nearly a five minute drive on their previous touch, Peyton designed draw play on the right side, getting to the right side. And against the boards, Peyton goes for nearly 13 yards. You can't say enough about Jessica Peyton's running ability. Quarterback draw right up the middle. Then she sprinted outside, she exploded. Kind of reminded me of California Chrome right there with that explosion around the outside. Peyton emulating a triple crown winner, possibly. And now a first and goal play for Green Bay. And just like that, they could go ahead in this game. Left side, pitch out, Amber Main exploding into that Vegas defense, and that'll be good for a score. And just like that, Green Bay is only down a point after that Amber Main touchdown. Wow, how tough is Amber Main? Watch the blocking up front, great blocking, gets Main in the end zone, takes a hit by Brace into safety, right in the nose. Looks like she's got a bloody nose, but she is a tough cookie. I'd love to have her in my backfield. Amber Main, one of those unexpected heroes early in the season. Nobody expected the kind of numbers she has posted on the ground. As Green Bay now lines up for a two-point conversion, a quick slant to Anna Hazeman, and that was broken up by Cynthia Schmidt. It was there, Mitch. A little bit late on a delivery by Peyton, a quick post. There's a hole, you gotta get the ball. She threw it a little bit too late. Should have been points there for Green Bay. And that's one of the criticisms of teams early in the season. Everybody seems to be going for two and missing those vital extra point points. In a tough game like this, Mitch, you're absolutely 100% right. These points are critical. Every game we do, they become critical points at the end of the game. Don't look like much now, but they, they're, they win or lose ball games. Now a first and 10 for this Vegas offense. They'll start from about the 15 yard line. Cummings under center. 
Drops back to pass. Quick slant play and just misfired. That looked to be intended for Cynthia Schmidt, although there is a flag. Yeah, I think she got hit. That should be interference, Mitch. Head referee Gary Reed making his first call of the night. Mitch, I love the way Sydney Cummins stays on the attack. Right after the Green Bay score, she comes back firing, trying to hit Schmidt. Tui's got her on a run. She's calling a lot of her own plays right now, and she's firing it, and I love watching her play football. Coach, head coach, Tui Soanoa, going a lot of confidence in his first-year quarterback. And again, in the air, again to Cynthia Schmidt. In coverage, Anna Hazeman deflecting the ball. Good cover by Hazeman, but again, Schmidt was open. I'm surprised she didn't come down with the ball. Another great pass by Cummings in the end zone. Could have been six more points for Vegas. You mentioned Coach Two. He changed his offense completely from the first game because he has this young gun at quarterback. It was almost like a wishbone we saw in the first game. Now they're just drop, dropping back and throwing it. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning of the second quarter and a tightly contested Western Conference clash. We are back in Las Vegas for LFL football night. It's the Green Bay Chill and the Vegas Sin. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Great first half so far with Las Vegas' passing game and Green Bay's strong running game. Now a second and 10 play from midfield. Inside handoff, Danica Brace, the middle linebacker being featured at tight end. And Brace will go for nine yards on that carry. A good passing game will always open up the running game. They've been throwing deep. The safeties have to stay back, respecting Cummings' arm. And they go inside on a, on a tight end inside trap to Brace for a solid nine yards. Now a third and one from the Green Bay 16. Handoff to Henderson this time. And Henderson goes for about three yards on that carry. Solid run by Henderson. As you see there, stats are like bikinis, Mitch. They show a lot, but not everything. Her stats only show 2.8 per carry, but she's a much better back than that. She's really got a grasp of the running back position. Careful with the bikini comments. We are in Las Vegas, Bobby. She's a great running back. First and 10. Direct snap to Cummings. Cummings on that same rollout play to Cynthia Schmidt. Loris Gellis Diaz, the free safety, breaks that up at the very last moment. The same play, Mitch. It looked like it was going to be six. Watch Gellis Diaz jump on the ball. She made a no fly zone there for Cummings. Great play by Gellis Diaz. That incomplete will set up a second and 10. Ball at the Green Bay 13 yard line. Shotgun handoff to Marky Henderson. And Henderson will go for eight yards. I like the call by Coach Tui. Man-to-man -man coverage in the red zone. Everybody outside running down the field. A quick trap up in the middle for Henderson for a big gainer. Now a third and two as the clock goes under a minute. Vegas in no hurry here. A great tackle. That was, once again, Elizabeth Straczynski quietly having a great year. Krasinski is, quite frankly, just a monster. Nobody can get by her. She is looking like an all-fantasy player early here in the season. And Coach Tui wanting to talk this over. We've got his huddle mic'd up. Let's listen in. Okay. Act like you're blocking. Get open real quick. Okay, run that. Quarterback, Quarterback sweep right pass. Okay. Get it to Kelly. All right. Okay. If they don't bite, do you bite. want me to run? Yeah, they don't bite. Okay. If they don't bite, they come after Kelly. Run that motherfucker. All right. Last second instruction from Coach Suanoa for a key fourth and five play coming up here. This has a feeling of a playoff game right now. You look at both coaches, they are so intense, we're only in the first half of this game. When you only play four games, everyone means so much. And having lost one on both sides, Green Bay and Las Vegas, they both know the importance of this one. Look how calm and composed Cummings is. 19 years old, her first year in the LFL. She walks onto the field after talking to Coach Tui with such confidence. Now Cummings and company with a fourth and five play. 
Shotgun snap to Cummings. Cummings scrambling to the right. And that was once again Elizabeth Straczynski and Amber McLennan converging. She actually had Schmidt open for a second in the end zone, but she, she pulled the ball down. She pulled the trigger back. Could have been six, but she held on to the ball. Big play by Green Bay. A huge stop for that defense. Down only a point, having another opportunity here, and Green Bay does still have a timeout as Jessica Payton goes back to work. Ball at the eight yard line from the shotgun. They're gonna try down the field. And the receiver just not there. Great coverage by Vegas. Vegas came with an all out blitz. Green Bay trying to get a quick timeout. But Payton a little gimpy on that. She got smashed. She threw the ball, great throw down the field, but she took a big hit right when she delivered the ball. That may be a concern for Green Bay. Really, their only offense outside of Amber Main is Jessica Payton as we go back inside the Vegas huddle and listen to their last-minute instruction. 30 fucking seconds left, okay? All you got to do is hold them for that 30 fucking seconds. Let's try to get the ball back if we can. We got no timeout, so that clock is running. Get back on the ball. Right away, we need that ball back. He's trying to get the ball back. I love the way Coach Tui coaches. He said, 30 seconds left, stop him here. He's trying to get points on the board. He's, he, it's, it's amazing the way he wants to win this game. Second and 10 now for Green Bay. Ball remains at about the eight yard line. And a little under 30 seconds. From the shotgun, that's a quick pass in the flat to Teresa Garay. And the clock continues to run on Green Bay. No timeouts remaining. Vegas will take that all night. A short pass, only three yards. The clock's running down. Now she's got to go deep. Ball at the 11, again from the shotgun. And again, a pass in the flat to Teresa Garay. And Garay just getting out of bounds to stop the clock. Time for perhaps one more play for this offense. You got to wonder about throwing it twice in the flat when you, when you have dangerous receivers like Hazeman and Ponzer who can get behind the secondary. Now a fourth and four from the shotgun. Peyton looking down the field, nobody there. Gonna check down. And I'm not sure what's going on there. She's still alive. That's Cara Alexander. She heard the horn and stopped running. I've never seen that before. I haven't either, Mitch. Rookie mistake, she heard the horn and stopped running and thought the play was over. Now let's go down to the field with Courtney Gifford with Danica Brace. Thanks, guys. That's right. I'm here with Danica Brace. Danica, with an underdog like Green Bay, are you surprised that they're so close to you guys? I ain't gonna lie. I'm shocked. Like, we let it down. We, we came out, stuffed it down their throats exactly like I said we were gonna do, and then we just let it off. We let it off. We had our foot on their, on their necks. Just let our foot off of it, man. So we're fine. We'll regroup at halftime and come back out, run it right back down their throats, and we're gonna keep it up on defense, too, on both sides. Thank you, Danica. Back to you guys. A confident Danica Brace, but Vegas holding on to only a one-point lead at halftime. And we return for halftime festivities after this. Well, guess what? We don't get to just chill and go to sleep on defense. I just said to that fucking reporter, guess what? She said, what y'all about to do now? We gonna come in, regroup? Do exactly what we started the game with. Yeah. We're gonna run it down their fucking throats, and this time, when your foot is on their goddamn neck, keep pushing. Don't pick your fucking foot up. This is our house. They are trying to disrespect us. Now fucking go out, turn it up, and play for goddamn the Vegas Sin. A fired up Danica Brace inside the Las Vegas locker room as we return to halftime festivities. Mitch Mortaza, Bobby Huco. And Bobby, what are your thoughts for the first half of this one? Makes a solid first half by both teams. The only difference is the interception by Green Bay quarterback Jessica Payton. The other surprise is the running game of Las Vegas. The leading rusher was not Marky Henderson. It was all people, Danica Brace. For Green Bay, as always, Jessica Payton is a leading rusher, but you can't have your quarterback being a leading rusher every week. Yeah, Payton, outside of that one interception, did manage a decent half of football. Now let's take a look at the scoring in that first half. It all started with being Vegas early on. Kia Ramos on this five-yard touchdown run. That was followed by Cynthia Schmidt on this six-yard touchdown reception from Sydney Cummings. 
Green Bay finally responding with Jessica Payton on this two-yard touchdown run. That was followed by Amber Main with yet another two-yard touchdown run. That's where we are at halftime, 13 to 12. Now let's take a look at the first half stats. Mitch, a very even game, as I mentioned. I'm really impressed the way Green Bay kept pace. The only difference, as we talked about, that interception by Jessica Payton. Both teams, however, have to open up that passing game to have any success here in the second half. We are down to the final 16 minutes of football, the second half kickoff after this. Back to Las Vegas for LFL football night as we return to third quarter action. We have Danica Brace mic'd up. Shit, Marky, that's all day. That's all day. Good night, bitch. Good night, bitch. Fucking sorry ass receiver. Thank you. Ain't nobody talking to you. I don't play receiver, you dumb bitch. Dye your hair back to brown and you give us a bad name. Look, there's the cute girl again. The cute girl with no hands. Oh, you're so cute, Tim. Thug life. Thug life. <laughs> wow, there's so much more than, than playing this game. She has the passion. She enjoys playing. She has fun out there, Mitch. You don't get to that level of confidence without having to be a great football player. And she's just getting into the twilight of her LFL career is Danica Brace. And now the third quarter kickoff. That looks to be Laura Gellis Diaz bringing the ball out. He only manages to get back to about the 18 yard line. That is where Green Bay will take over. That was actually a great return by Gellis Diaz. There was absolutely no blocking, nothing there. And she somehow got it 18 yards out. Check that, the referees have moved the ball to about the 10 yard line. And now Jessica Payton's numbers there. Her season stats struggling a little bit through the air. She has managed a pair of big pass plays to Anna Hazeman. And that's Cara Alexander going for about two yards on that carry. Bitch, you brought up a good point. Payton's got to throw the ball. She's got to develop a passing game. She has the arm. It's weird. The first play of the game, she underthrew by 10 yards, and then we see her throw the ball about 40, you know, the last series. So she has to develop her passing game for Green Bay to have any shot at going to the playoffs. A second and eight play now for Peyton. He's going to check down to Carr Alexander, not even close. Danica Brace in coverage. That's our point right there. Peyton threw the ball on the run. Her feet weren't set. Behind the receiver, should have been picked off by Brace. But she really has to work on her techniques and passing skills, Mitch. As we talked about, she is a converted wide receiver. This is the first time that she's had the opportunity to play quarterback is this 2014 season. Now Green Bay backed up at their own 12-yard line. Peyton from the shotgun. Looking down the field, nobody there. Going to take off on the left side. And that's Danica Brace once again. And it appears that Danica Brace may be spying Jessica Payton. Danica Brace right now, she is in beast mode. They came with an all-out blitz on Payton. Payton got outside and that's lazy speed. And Brace caught her from behind. What a play by Danica Brace. Now the pressure again on the first-year quarterback, Jessica Payton as Green Bay faces a fourth and six. From the shotgun, gonna scramble to the right side. Vegas converging, and she will not get there as the Green Bay offense turns it over on downs. Kelly Campbell showing why she's an all-fantasy defensive back at corner. Great cover corner. She had the outside position on the receiver. She saw Peyton come up the run. She pushed the receiver inside toward the safety, and he came up and made a short tackle. She's great at disguising coverage against quarterbacks. Now Vegas once again working with a very short field as they take over from about the 17-yard line. Sidney Cummings looking over that Green Bay defense. Shotgun snap. This is going to be a reverse to Marky Henderson and the Green Bay defense staying home. And that'll be a loss of four yards. Great penetration by Aya Chrisman right there. She didn't go for either fake and she nailed the speed demon Marky Henderson in the backfield. 
That'll move it to a second and 14 ball at the Green Bay 21. Obviously plenty of time in the game. 13 to 12, Vegas with the edge. Cummings back to throw. Looking downfield, now checking down and just missing her receiver. That was intended for Marky Henderson. Great setup by Las Vegas. Great protection up front. She could have stayed in the pocket all day. Henderson was almost too wide open. She, she short-armed a little bit and skipped to Henderson, but that is how passing should look like in the LFL. Now a third and 14 from the shotgun. Cummings, left side, quick dump off. That to Danica Brace on the left side, breaking tackles. Danica Brace just scoots in from 21 yards out. And that'll put Vegas on top. That is why Danica Brace is one of the best in the game. As we know, a super all-fantasy linebacker on defense. But watch this on offense. You can't only run, but watch the catch. I think she breaks a tackle for six. Great play by Cummings also. A major blitz right in her face, and she delivered a strike to Brace. Now Vegas extending their lead to seven points as they'll try to go for two points here. Check that, they'll go for one from the one. Shotgun direct snap to Cummings, and Cummings gets to the outside. And that'll extend Vegas' lead even further. It'll be 20 to 12. Still a one possession game. That's the good news for Green Bay. But Vegas starting to take control on both sides of the ball. Mitch, we're watching Sydney Cummings develop and grow right in front of our eyes. She's no longer a rookie. She looks like a veteran the way she's controlling this offense. Cummings engineering a three-play, 17-yard drive. And that has been the story tonight, Bobby. Those short fields for the Vegas offense have led to points. I love the new offense Coach Tui put also. Last week, a lot of running. This week, it's more passing, mix up the running. A great offensive scheme this week by Coach Tui. Now Green Bay taking over from the 15. From the shotgun, that's Jessica Payton finding Cara Alexander. After all that, Cara Alexander only manages three yards. Only three yards, Mitch, but I like the setup that Payton had in the pocket. She waited for everybody to clear, and they hit the back underneath three yards, but it looked like a good play and great delivery by Payton. She did one of the things Coach Gilbert Brown mentioned that they're trying to instill in her as a first-year quarterback, and that's patience in the pocket. Her criticism has been that she's taken off with the ball too many times and simply lacks patience. From the shotgun, bad snap, low snap to Peyton. And now Peyton just trying to create a play on the right side, manages four yards. You mentioned what Coach Brown wants her to do, but that's why she's good right there. She has skills. She's a great athlete. Once she gets a quarterback position down, I think she's going to be a great elite quarterback in this league. That Peyton run now sets up a third and three as the clock winds down on third quarter action. A little under two minutes remain. Ball at about the 22, another bad snap to Peyton. Peyton looking down the field, nobody there, and gets caught from the backside by LaRonda Kelly. A great pass rush off the edge. Textbook tackle right there by LaRonda Kelly. She looked like Sydney Rice coming off the edge right there. She's one of the great defensive ends to come out of Jackson, Mississippi. And that sack will set up a fourth and three as this crowd starts to come to life in Vegas. Jessica Payton looking like she's tired now. Shotgun snap to Peyton, a design quarterback run. That'll be enough for the first down. As Peyton manages 11 yards on that scramble. Bet you can't teach heart, and Peyton definitely has heart. She's out of breath, fourth down, she needs a big play, and she gets it with her legs. Now, if only she could work on that passing game. That'll set up a first and 10 ball at this Vegas 17-yard line. Another crucial drive. This is a heavyweight bout back and forth on the Vegas Strip. With Green Bay showing some life here in the second half. Now a first and 10 play handoff. That goes to Cara Alexander. 
and Alexander manages about six yards. I cannot say how good Green Bay's offensive line played tonight. Both offensive lines, they don't get a whole lot of credit, but the way they're playing tonight, this is great upfront football. This should be a fun fourth quarter. And that will set us up for the final eight minutes of play. Las Vegas in the lead, 20 to 12. action and that's a look at Jessica Payton who has been battered and bruised tonight we've got her mic'd up I'm sore just looking at that package Bobby any girls out there Mitch that are thinking about playing quarterback in the LFL that think it's a glamour position ask Jessica Payton she's taking some hits tonight Ayton and company taking over second and four play. A handoff to Kara Alexander, and Alexander managing five yards. It's amazing. With no passing game at all, Green Bay is one score within taking a lead here. You have to wonder, oh, and that is Danica Brace. They could ill afford to lose her. He has had chronic knee issues and seems to be favoring that knee would be a big loss for them, Bobby. Wow, you got to pray they're not looking at that knee. She had major surgery. She's up, she's bouncing around. Hopefully with just a cramp, she looks good. That's the intensity of a middle linebacker trying to get back into the huddle. Obviously, she'll have to come out for a play here. Two great middle linebackers playing tonight on both sides of the ball. Brace for Vegas and Straczynski for Green Bay. Now a first and goal handoff to Kara Alexander pumping her feet, and now the pile just surges into the end zone, and they're gonna give Green Bay a score. That is a huge play from Cara Alexander. Alexander's leaving it on the field tonight, Mitch. Watch this push by the entire Green Bay team. You think Alexander stopped right there in the three yard line, the entire offensive line pushes her into the end zone. Great play by Green Bay. For Australian fans, that looked to be like a rugby scrum. And pure will won out there with Green Bay. Now a two-point attempt from the three-yard line. That's Jessica Payton trying the left side. And they've seen that one too many times. So the score will remain Green Bay 18, Las Vegas 20. Great scout in there by Coach Tui. Green Bay tried that in their first game with man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. It's almost like a quarterback draw outside, but they were all over Payton on that one. Now a first and 10 for this Vegas offense and one of the few times that they've had to drive the length of the field. Sidney Cummings and company, this should be great for their development. The 19-year-old quarterback now will have to drive the length of the field as most of the night this Vegas offense has had a little under 20 yards. Now they'll have to go roughly 50. I am really impressed by her and the entire offense and the scheme by Coach Tui tonight. A really balanced set and balanced plays. They look good. First and 10 from the shotgun. Cummings snap an inside handoff. That one to Marky Henderson. And you got to think Vegas is going to try to work on this clock, being up two points. The difference between the Green Bay running game and the Vegas running game is the safeties from Green Bay won't come up because they're scared of the strong arm of Cummings. Right now, Peyton on the other side hasn't threatened Las Vegas deep, so their safeties can come up and defend the run. Uh, I look for Cummings to throw the ball. They had success in the air tonight. I, I wouldn't be shocked if she keeps throwing. Second and six now, Cummings looking over the defense. This looks to be another handoff to Henderson, breaking tacklers. And she goes for 12 yards. That'll move the sticks. 
And worse for Green Bay, the clock. And only 5-3, we mentioned it. She's tough to grab hold. Great cut right there, jump cut outside. Gets around the safety for 12 yards. She is so low to the ground, it's hard to get leverage on her. First and 10 now, and if you don't follow the LFL, the clock will continue to run until we get to two minute. That's when we have our two minute stoppage rules, similar to the NFL. But between now and then, this will play to Vegas' favor. Empty back set. Cummings inside handoff. That's Kia Ramos, who had a big first half and picks up eight here. Every time the Kia Ramos touches the ball, but she gets big chunks of yardage. I like the call again, a trip set out wide. It's Briggs the defense. Everybody's got to go to the left side. They bring back Ramos on an inside trap from the right, end, right tight end position. Big gain right there for Las Vegas. Now a second and two ball at the Green Bay 11. An impressive drive for this offense. And that's Sidney Cummings just staring at the clock, making sure they get every second off. Again, that is Marquis Henderson with the handoff. Henderson manages five yards. Mitch, you mentioned Cummings watching the clock. Veteran quarterbacks do that, rookie quarterbacks rarely. She is so in control of this offense. I love watching her play. That was enough to move the sticks. That'll be a first and goal for Vegas as head referee Gary Reed warns Vegas of some of the activity following plays. The Western Conference tends to be a little more physical. Now first and goal from the Green Bay six yard line. Henderson flanked to the right side of Sidney Cummings. Bad snap to Cummings, manages the ball and gonna try the right side, nothing doing. Cummings will lose two yards on that play. Bad snap, bad time of the game for that to happen, but great athletic move there by Cummings. That ball could have sailed over her head. She popped it straight up. She got a loss of two yards, but a great play to keep it only a two yard loss. And the clock should continue to run, and it does. Despite Cummings going out of bounds, as I said, we don't have stoppage rules till we get inside of two minutes. And that is key in an 18 to 20 game. It's still second and goal, Mitch. I can't tell you how big that was not to let the ball go overhead. That could have completely turned this game around. From the shotgun, Cummings. That's Henderson in motion. Right side, design rollout. And Cummings will pick up about four yards on that carry. Great play by the defensive end of Green Bay. She couldn't get hooked. She made Cummings stay wide. It looked like it could have been a bigger gainer, but she couldn't turn it up, only got four. That will bring us to the two minute warning. And only two minutes separate one of these two franchises from their first win of the 2014 season. We are back to LFL football night, and next week we travel to Jacksonville, Florida as the Toledo Crush play the Jacksonville Breeze. Mitch, this is the play of the game right here for Cummings. The great thing when you have an athlete like her at quarterback, you can have the pass run option inside the red zone. Roll her out like they have already. If nothing's there, she can turn it up and run. If they come up, you throw it in the back of the end zone to Schmidt. A third and goal play now. Crucial for this Vegas offense as it looks to extend its lead. A little under two minutes remaining from the shotgun. Sidney Cummings back to the end zone, and just like that, Cynthia Schmidt scores. That was a four-yard touchdown pass, and Schmidt becoming a favorite target of Sidney Cummings. Great call by Coach Tui. When you have a quarterback, a dual threat like Sidney Cummings in, that's what you do. Cynthia Schmidt having a great year. Five receptions, three touchdowns, a major weapon for Cummings, but this this is an eight-point lead right now. This is a big, huge play right now with only 153 left, Mitch. That is a great point as Vegas will extend this to a two-possession game with the score here. It'll be interesting to see if they go for three or one. 
Ball appears to be at the one yard line, so they'll go for the one point conversion. Coming from shotgun, it looked like Green Bay left side jumped. That looked to me like number seven, Elizabeth Straczynski. Here's the call from Probably Gary Reed. Ball start, offense, number three, five yard penalty. We play the track. Wow, did not wow. expect that. That's actually on Vegas. Kelly Campbell jumping. I didn't see that either. I thought it was Green Bay. But you saw the play they were going to do. They were going to do the same play. Sprint out, give her the pass run option, which is a great call. Maybe you do it again right here. Ball now back to the six yard line. Vegas will still go for the one point conversion. 153 remaining in this game. If he wants the ball in the middle of the field, you know what that says, Mitch. They're going to that side. They reset the ball and the clock. Vegas now trying the extra point attempt from the six yard line. Shotgun snap to Cummings. Cummings rolls left. Same play to Schmidt. And she is wide open in the back of the end zone. And that'll give Vegas that nine point edge. Great call again by Tui. They haven't stopped that play all night because the defense is on their heels. They don't know what to do, come up and tackle Cummings or sit back and go for Schmidt when she'll run it in. Great call. I realize we are becoming the biggest fans of the Sydney Cummings fan club, Bobby, but she just engineered a seven play, 35 yard drive to answer Green Bay. And now Vegas up nine. That'll make it a two score game for Green Bay. She is so calm and collected. You heard her talking to the ref like it was a practice. I love her as a quarterback. First and 10 for Green Bay now. Peyton from the shotgun, wanted to take off with it. Now tries Cara Alexander, the rookie. And Alexander just simply dropped that ball. Good poise in the pocket right there by Peyton. She waited till Alexander checked out the backfield, got wide underneath the coverage, wide open, but just dropped the ball. Good throw by Peyton. That is a lot of inexperience on this offense for Green Bay. Now a second and 10 play from the 15. Gonna try the right side, nearly intercepted by Kelly Campbell. But that was Susan Ostrug coming up with the reception. And that was good for eight yards. How that ball got through Kelly Campbell, I'll never know. She must have shut her eyes. I thought it was going to be a pick six for Campbell, but somehow it got through to Osterud. A good, big play for Green Bay. Now a third and two from the Green Bay 23. From under center, Peyton on the quick slant play. That intended for Anna Hazeman, and we do have a flag. They might have called Danica Brace right there. She looks guilty. Pass interference, defense number 20. 10 yard penalty, automatic first down. That call seems to be on Trisha Warshina, not Danica Brace. Nonetheless, that will move the sticks. That'll make it first and 10 from the Vegas 17 yard line as Coach Suanoa is a little concerned. First and 10 now. Peyton under center, gonna try the right side. That's Stephanie Ponzer. And Green Bay, just like that, pulls to within three. Great call by Coach Brown. Ponzer, man-to-man -man coverage, goes deep. Peyton put the ball out there. Coach Brown said he's gonna put a Ponzer scheme in, and that was it. Wow, what a play by Green Bay. And that's the inconsistent arm of Jessica Peyton that we've talked about all game long. You'll miss the easy passes, but connect on those deep ones. Both and passes, Mitch, you're right. Both passes should have been broken up. They didn't look pretty, but they were completed and very effective. Now a very important extra point attempt. No good. So the score will remain 24 to 27. And undoubtedly now Green Bay will set up for the onside kick, being down three points. Mitch, you brought up early in the game how important these extra point conversions are. A lot of coaches try to get the two points all the time and don't get it. Look what happened to Green Bay right now. They're down three points. This game could be tied up or, or them even winning, but they don't convert the extra points and now they have to try the onside kick. That is a staggering stat across the league. One point conversion success rate is 67%.
two-point conversion attempts are 23%. And yet, head coaches continue to go for two-point conversions and undoubtedly place their teams in these positions. Early in the game, exactly right. You gotta get the points on the board. Take the one point. At the end of the game, if you need to go for two, that's when you go for it. But take the early in the game, go for one here. It's exciting, but Green Bay shouldn't have been in this position. Danielle Lucci from Green Bay will try to get this onside kick off. And as we can see, Vegas has their hands team out there, including Danica Brace. Just like the NFL, this ball will have to travel 10 yards. And here we go, this is the game. Great kick by Lucci, and that looks like Danica Brace just falling on it. We will find out for sure in a matter of seconds here, but it looked like Green Bay recovered. I'm sorry, Las Vegas recovered. It was a great kick, Mitch. It was all over the field. Green Bay didn't seem they want to pounce on the ball. Neither team, it was, it was scrambling all over. I think Vegas got it though. Danica Brace, big recovery. And Las Vegas now will just try to run the clock out. Coach Gilbert Brown not happy with something. A first and 10 play now. And they're gonna look to Cynthia Schmidt, incomplete. You gotta wonder why Vegas is throwing the ball there. Absolutely, Mitch. This time of the game, 118 left. You wanna run clock. I don't know what Coach Toon saw there. Maybe he just wanted to ice the game with one big play, but it stops the clock and will give Green Bay a possible shot to get the ball back. Las Vegas was running the ball good. I don't know why they didn't continue to do that. Second and 10 now, that does stop the clock. And remember, this is a one score game. Inside handoff, Kia Ramos. Ramos finding a seam on the right side. And a touchdown saving tackle by Anna Hazeman. A huge play for Las Vegas. That's all you have to do is give it to Kia Ramos all night long. She's getting big gainers. Again, the same play, the inside trap. Great blocking up front. She is great, the locomotive running the ball. Wow, almost got in for six. That'll set up a first and goal. The only bit of bad news for Las Vegas is she went out of bounds. And that does stop the clock at 103. If they get in here, the game should be over, but I, I love the way that girl runs the football. Give it to her more often. First and goal, shotgun snap, direct snap to Sydney Cummings, nobody there. And that should be good for a score. Same play all night long, quarterback sweep, great seal protection by Vegas, but this one might be coming back. They're bringing it back, Mitch. That was a false start, though so a huge game-saving penalty for Green Bay. And that'll back up the Vegas offense to about the seven-yard line and keep little hope alive for Green Bay fans. There's a lot of time left here in the LFL, the quick-scoring game that it is. I mean, if they don't get in, Vegas, or Green Bay could get the ball back. And now more discussion amongst the referees. Not sure what's happening here after that Vegas penalty. Legal defense, number 20, five yard penalty replay, first down. Now I'm thoroughly perplexed because there wasn't even a play there. And yet we manage a false start on Green Bay. Or I'm confused too. He might have called an illegal defense, which you can't call until the play snap. We are in Vegas though, Mitch. Who knows? A first and goal direct snap to Sydney Cummings. And Cummings scoring from about three yards out. That'll give Vegas a 33 to 24 lead. Great blocking on the outside by the Vegas wide receivers. That play pretty much has been unstoppable for night, tonight for Vegas. Give it a pass for an option. That looked like all run right there, and he still can't stop it. And more importantly, that gives Vegas a nine-point lead. So irregardless of this extra point attempt, they will be two scores up with a little under a minute remaining. As Vegas lines up for the one-point attempt, Marky Henderson in motion leading the way for Sidney Cummings. 
And Cummings scores on the extra point to extend to a 10-point lead for Vegas. That's just bad defense by Green Bay. They were man-to-man -man coverage. They put the receiver in motion. Daniel Lucci, the quarterback, did not go with her, so that creates an advantage for Vegas with one extra player on the strong side. And what happens? Cummings walks right in the end zone. Coach Gilbert Brown still not happy with the officiating tonight. A first and 10 from the 15 for Green Bay. Peyton back to pass. Quick slant again to Anna Hazeman. And Hazeman almost getting her head taken off by Danica Brace. Not sure about that call, Mitch. A quick post into the linebacker and free safety. If that ball was completed, Hazeman's head might not be there. Not a good call right there by Coach Gilbert Brown. Now a second and 10 as this crowd comes to life. Fake handoff, Peyton rolling left. Nobody there, gonna cut back to, nope, gonna try the middle. And Cara Alexander with her second big drop of the night. That's what Peyton gives you, quarterback. The chance scrambling around the backfield like that. Alexander with her second drop, she made a great play, Peyton did. Delivered the ball right to Alexander, but again, she dropped the ball. She seems to extend almost every play, does Jessica Peyton with her feet. Great athleticism. Now a third and 10, quick slant again to Hazeman, and again she gets knocked by Danica Brace. I'm not sure those quick five-yard slants are good enough when you're down 10 points with under 40 seconds remaining. Exactly right, Mitch. Remember their last game, they threw bombs to Hazeman, and they completed them. Now they're trying to quick post. Now a fourth down play. That one is completed to Stephanie Ponzer. Watch the catch here by Ponzer. Again, the quick post. Standing a brace, ready to tee off. Great catch by Ponzer for a key first down. And the ball now at the Vegas 23. And the Vegas crowd coming back to life. Hayton steps up to throw, finds Anna Hazeman on the right side. And Hazeman goes for 14 yards on that reception. Might be too little, too late. I do like they're going to Hazeman. They should do that early in the game. She is so dangerous as a receiver. And Green Bay uses their only timeout of the second half. That should allow for at least one more play here before the end of the game. It would be a miracle to say the least if they can pull off a 10 point play here. It would totally be a miracle, but getting back to Hazeman, she is so talented. They have to throw the future games early in the game. Just throw it up to her. She will make something happen. That is the one bit of good news. Hazeman and Peyton have been strong for this team early. Now 2.5 seconds, and they're going to try the end zone and just overshoots Anna Hazeman. And that'll bring us to the end. This will be not only the Las Vegas Sins' first ever win of the 2014 season, but the bigger headline coach, Tui Soanoa, picks up his first career win as a head coach. Great win for Tui, but the way this offense looked tonight, I wouldn't be surprised if they made a Western Conference run. As Vegas begins their big celebration, we go down to the field with Courtney Gifford. Thanks, guys. I'm here with head coach of the Las Vegas Inn, Tui Suanoa. Tui, how does it feel as your first win as a head coach with the LFL? Oh, this is an awesome feeling. I'm just so proud of our players and what they did tonight. They worked their butts off so hard, and they came out here and showed everybody that they deserve this win. I believed in them. They believed in themselves and their teammates, and they came out here and they showed all their friends and family how, how good they can do it. Mitch, it's unbelievable how Coach Tui has molded this young team so quickly as the new head coach in Las Vegas and made them a solid football team. And with the win, Vegas moves to 1-1, one one, while Green Bay drops to 0-2. Let the partying begin on the Vegas Strip. For Bobby Huco, Courtney Gifford, this is Mitch Mortaza. We will see you next week on LFL Football Night.